Wow. Well, hello once again. Uh, what do y'all do when your sweet potatoes sprout like this? Do you get rid of them? Well, I'm going to do something with this pool noodle. Pretty cool. Just snap them off. Set them in this pool noodle. And just use this little throwaway ramen tray. It's the same one that we have that we used to block out the light on the microgreens. And we just let them float in plain water. No nutrients or anything. Just let the bottom of them sit inside the water. And before you know it, they'll sprout some roots. Gonna let them sit under here. Brad's grow lights from Hidden Harvest Grow Lights. These things work great. Now here's one that I planted a couple of weeks ago in just in the soil, our little raised garden bed. We're going to show you how they grow so much better in the hydroponics. So after about four or five days, leaves are starting to grow, looking pretty cool. They've already got some roots on them. So this is just about ready to be replanted. See the other ones are rooting too. Let's go outside. I want to show you something really quick. This one that we planted a couple weeks ago, you know, it's about 100 degrees, like 95. You know, the heat index is around 100. You see how these wilted. Over here, we planted those potato slips into larger pool noodles. We use a larger one, three inch net cups. And these are in the shade. They got a little bit of morning sun. Now they're in the shade. You can see just this little bit of difference, just a couple of feet away, what a difference it is between the two. I get a lot of questions about where to grow something in someone's yard, and you're going to have to experiment where you live, because you can see right here, a few feet makes all the difference in the world. So you may have to move things around your yard, see how things are doing. Keep an eye on it, experiment, and then just find that perfect spot for your plant. Today, this was an overcast day, so it was awesome. I could get out here and film and it wasn't too bright. You can see this is just a couple of weeks later. And it's kind of taken over. This is with no care at all. After I planted it out, just left it here. This little one's already trying to make its way through the yard, so I just aim everything back towards the raised bed garden so everything kind of stays in one place. I think sooner or later I'm going to put a trellis up and just let these climb up the trellis, keep them off the ground. I stuck one over here in the crack key NFT tubes just to see how it does and it's taken off. Pretty cool. Right. Here we go. Look how big that is. Look at these leaves. That thing's gone all the way over there into the garden bed where the turmeric and ginger are growing. Sprawling out down on the bottom. 
But all of this is just from this one container that we planted out. And it's with pool noodles. A little three inch neck cup. The larger pool noodle. Let's just hold it in place. No hydrogen, no rock wool, just that pool noodle. Put the sweet potato slip into it. Got four of them here. There's one, two, three, four. And believe it or not, have done nothing. Planted those out. I'll go get the video. We'll take a look back at it. Planted it out, left it here. Haven't checked this, haven't added anything. It's been in the rain. It's probably full. But I've done absolutely nothing to this. Get all the roots. That's what someone asked was, we're the sweet potatoes. And we're not growing tubers. We're not worried about the tubers. That's when it grows in the ground. We're not worried about growing a sweet potato. You might get a little tiny one in there or something, but you're not going to eat it. All we're worried about is this. Loads and loads of leaves. Heat index around 100 here in Florida. We're still growing these, just tender as can be. You can get these new ones that are coming up. You cut it right there, get that shoot and all. The bigger ones, you really don't want to eat the shoot. It's a little tough. But these smaller ones, that shoots tender. You can just cut it right down there. We'll do a quick recipe with it. But I just had to show you guys that real quick. It's just that put four little sweet potato slips, came off of one sweet potato. Planted it here. It's in the shade. You can see right over here. It's all you know some of the sun's coming through so this is in the shade some of its reaching out towards the Sun but this was the container that had our Swiss shard in it and the Swiss shard passed away so I just left it sitting there I'm actually gonna pull that out at some time but it's supporting all of this is sitting on top of it I'm gonna leave it there for right now you never know when this thing might shoot off some little roots in that and reach down in the water so we're just gonna leave that I don't think I don't know if my Swiss shards gonna come back I think there's one in there somewhere there we go yeah there's a leaf right there that's a Swiss shard if I just let the Swiss shard go and let this take over it so with no work at all haven't done anything left that planted it out haven't done anything no checking the pH no checking the nutrient level it's got a little bit of water it had some nutrients in it to begin with basically this is growing with sunlight this thing was full of nutrients when we started the rainwaters kind of filled it back up diluted a little bit but it's getting what nutrients it needs and from the very beginning when I showed you this I didn't as soon as it starts growing and it's small it's just about on the top of the container you don't want to go ahead and start pulling off the leaves right then and eating it let it grow a little bigger because you it's actually making its food from the leaves so if it just grows and you keep pulling all the leaves off and it's having to constantly grow tiny little leaves, it's not going to grow really fast. Let it take off a little bit. This is only a couple of weeks and it's taken off. Now you can come in here and start pulling the leaves off of there and you're still going to leave the plant enough so that it makes its own food. It needs some of those leaves to make its food. So I didn't harvest it when it was just small. You know, we picked one or two if we wanted to toss it in a spring roll or something. but right now we just kind of let it go and this is just a little sweet potato slip. if you guys are growing sweet potatoes you've probably seen this before you plant it in the ground it'll grow wild and then I see y'all come and harvest this and throw that in the compost pile and you eat one or two sweet potatoes off of that plant so this is a spinach alternative this is a lettuce you can use these as wraps like instead of romaine lettuce for a lettuce wrap you can use that for a wrap and you can cook it down like a stir fry too. We're going to harvest some of these. We got recipes coming next week. You guys get out there, grow a little something. As always, live to inspire, keep on growing, be the change. Much love.